the Chinese PLA Navy has grown exponentially in quantity and firepower. The pace of this naval modernization is embodied in the Type 55 destroyer, an imposing modern-day dreadnought. Two decades of evolution of surface warships have culminated in what can be termed the ultimate destroyer design, one intended to secure the command of the sea. This video is a guide to the capabilities of the Type 55 Super Destroyer. The Type 55 is a much larger version of the preceding Type 52D Destroyer. It is not quite a replacement for the Type 52D, because China is continuing to build both classes. A total of 8 Type 55s have been launched since 2017, and 5 have been commissioned. The remaining units should be commissioned in 2022, or by early 2023 at the latest. All indications are that China wants to build more of these ships. The Type 55 Large Destroyer will be deployed alongside aircraft carriers as part of Chinese carrier battle groups. In this role, the Type 55 would likely serve as the main air defense command and control center for the battle group, much like the Ticonderoga class cruisers of the US Navy. The Super Destroyer can relay instructions and targeting information to smaller warships such as the Type 52D Destroyer. The Type 55 is also likely the centerpiece of naval forces without an aircraft carrier that are termed surface action groups in the US Navy. Official Chinese military strategy emphasizes the need for China to defend its interest in the far seas by employing large destroyers alongside smaller naval warships. More recent Chinese sources explicitly link the Type 55 to the security of the Belt and Road Initiative. Lastly, in an era of great power competition, large warships will inevitably be used to show the flag around the world. The presence of the Type 55 Super Destroyer in Ports Visit makes a strong statement to friends and foes alike. The full displacement of the Type 55 is about 13,000 tons, which is nearly double that of the Type 52D. Chinese naval doctrine has gradually arrived at the conclusion that large warships are the way to go. This also indicates a high degree of confidence that China has mastered the required air defense technologies to defend valuable capital ships. The Type 55 is propelled by four QC-280 gas turbines, providing a 32 knots maximum speed. The operational range is 9,300 kilometers. Apparently, about 20% of the power generated by the engine are above the operational requirement. This points to a high potential for future upgrades to the ship as new weapon systems become available. The total complement is estimated at 300 personnel, which is actually rather low for a large warship of this size, which points to a high degree of automation. The Type 55 has great stealth capability against many different types of sensors, and not just radars. It features a smooth hull and a highly compact superstructure. There are very few deck-mounted weapons, and the ones that are there, for example the 130mm naval gun, all have a stealthy, angular exterior. Furthermore, the radars are all located inside an integrated mast at the center of the ship, so the overall radar cross-section should be minimized. The antennas of the long-range radars are concentrated at the back of the mast, which is said to limit their electromagnetic radiation signature. The four funnels, which are ventilation for the engine, are enclosed completely within the superstructure, and there are infrared suppression devices. The noise level of the engine 
is also lower than previous iterations of Chinese gas turbines, which means it is harder to pick up by passive sonars. So basically, the Type 55 destroyer has all-round stealth capabilities against radars, passive sonars, electromagnetic sensors, and infrared sensors. The Type 55 can fulfill a wide range of missions, but it is designed especially for air defense at all ranges. The ship has a large vertical launch system, or VLS for short, of 112 cells. 64 VLS cells are positioned towards the front, with a further 48 at the back. The majority of the 112 VLS contains the HHQ-9B long-range surface-to-air missile. This is the standard SAM on Chinese destroyers, with a range of 300 kilometers. It has a speed of Mach 4 and a semi-active radar homing guidance, which is great for intercepting supersonic targets. At the 2021 Zhuhai Air Show, a Chinese military exhibit, the PLA Navy has showcased the ability to quad pack certain missiles. This means putting four SAMs into a single VLS cell, which brings more firepower. This appears possible with a medium range missile, the FC 3000N. It is likely that medium range surface to air missiles in quad packs are already operational on the Type 55 destroyer. This will provide the destroyer with much greater firepower to intercept incoming threats that have crossed the horizon. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Type 55 destroyer can track hundreds of enemy aircraft and cruise missiles, and guide air defense missiles to these targets. The main radar for long-range air search is the Type 346B S-Band Active Electronically Scanned Array, which is the latest version of a family of Chinese radars called the Dragon Eye by NATO. Four panels of radar arrays are mounted on the superstructure, one facing each intercardinal direction. The panel arrays of the Type 346B radar are estimated to be 40% larger than the Type 346A radar of the preceding Type 52D destroyer. This suggests that the Type 346B radar is much more powerful, which is made possible by the high power output of the engine on the Type 55 destroyer. US military analysts believe that the Type 346B has an instrumental range of over 600 kilometers. The actual detection range will of course depend on the altitude of the targets and its size. The radar is believed to have strong anti-stealth capability, meaning it can track fifth generation stealth fighters. According to Chinese sources, the Type 346B may even be able to track satellites in low orbit. The Type 55 can transmit the coordinates of enemy satellites to land-based rocket forces, which can then launch anti-satellite missiles. Spy satellites in low orbit can monitor vast regions of the battlefield and provide rich intelligence. In a modern war, the destruction of enemy satellites can eliminate a key part of the enemy's intelligence infrastructure, which is a major advantage for oneself. Also mounted at the top of the mast on the Type 55 is a second search radar, this time in the X-band. This frequency is more suited to tracking targets at short ranges, and this radar likely plays a key role in the interception of low-flying sea-skimming missiles. The main anti-ship weapon is the YJ-18 Eagle Strike cruise missile, which is carried inside the VLS. The number of YJ-18s can be adjusted depending on the mission requirement. The YJ-18 has a subsonic cruising speed, but as it comes near the target, it accelerates to a supersonic speed 
and alters its radar signature to lower the enemy's reaction time and the probability of interception. It is a sea skimming missile, meaning it is very difficult to detect until it has nearly reached the target. The YJ 18 has a range in excess of 500 kilometers. Another possible weapon of the Type 55 destroyer is anti ship ballistic missiles. Ballistic missiles are generally much faster than cruise missiles, especially at the terminal phase, and are usually hypersonic, making them very difficult to intercept. The individual VLS cells on the Type 55 are actually much larger than the VLS cells on US or NATO destroyers. This means that it is large enough to host some of China's tactical ballistic missiles. This admittedly has not been confirmed, but both the US Navy and domestic Chinese experts consider it highly likely that the Type 55 can launch ballistic missiles against surface targets. For shore bombardment, the Type 55 is equipped with the CJ-10 land attack missile. Since the 1990 Persian Gulf War, Chinese strategists have been convinced of the potential in employing destroyers for the land attack role. The Type 55 may potentially be chosen for the mission of counter-battery fire against land-based missile systems to facilitate the safe entry of Chinese naval forces into the Pacific Ocean in the event of a conflict. Its main anti-submarine weapon is actually its two helicopters, which are carried inside two hangars towards the aft of the ship. They would be the new Z-20 naval helicopter, or the larger Z-18F, if the hangar is big enough to carry them. Both helicopters are very capable submarine hunters, with good range and long flight times. They carry advanced sonars, sonar boys, and torpedoes. The Type 55 itself has a full suite of sonars, including a towed array sonar and a variable depth sonar, which allow a large detection range against enemy submarines. The destroyer carries the U-8 anti-submarine missiles, which can engage enemy submarines at a safe distance. In case an enemy submarine is within short range, there are six light torpedoes to engage it. However, the destroyer is a high-value target for enemy submarines in itself, so should stick with long-range weapons for anti-submarine warfare, including helicopters, and stay out of submarine torpedo range. The Type 55 destroyer has enormous potential for future upgrades, owing to its large size and the extra engine power that is currently not being used. There are reports of different advanced weapons that are in developing stages to be incorporated in the future. Western observers think that China is researching an electromagnetic railgun, which, if it becomes operational, could shoot hypersonic projectiles against surface targets at a range far exceeding a conventional gun. Some suggest that the PLA Navy could have this technology by 2025. The other upgrade being developed for the Type 55 include high-energy lasers and anti-ballistic missile interceptors, which the PLA Navy is not believed to have currently. Among the existing Chinese surface combatants, only the Type 55 has the capacity for the electrical generators needed to power these advanced weapons. The induction of the Type 55 Super Destroyer is a defining moment for the Chinese Navy. Two decades of naval modernization has resulted in a warship that many argue is one of the most powerful in the world. For the West, the Type 55 represents an intensification of the naval arms race. What is certain is that fleets of large Chinese warships will become a more and more common sight across the world's oceans. If you're interested in the evolution of Chinese destroyers, 
you might want to learn more about the Type 52C Destroyer. This is the first truly capable air defense destroyer built by China, and is the first one that the country has produced in large numbers. To learn more, please watch this video on your screen.